Bienvenidos a mi canal, ¿cómo están? Estoy hablando español. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy en México. So I'm taking a little vacation in Mexico City and I had no intention of filming a YouTube episode but I got some interesting encounter and I got dogi, hakama and some wooden swords so I decided to film one episode. Antes de venir aquí en la ciudad de México me quedé en Oaxaca por dos semanas y tomé la clase de español. El día de hoy uh, lo que vamos a hacer es buscar algunas personas que quieren uh, aprender uh, japonés espada. I think that's what I wrote down and memorized. Okay, let's do this. Hey, so what we're gonna do is uh, just like how we did in Venice with Kazu, I'm gonna go look for people who want to learn Japanese sword and teach them a little bit and we're gonna try to create some cool cinematic so, I started talking to local people, but people in Mexico seem actually quite shy. Uh, probably not as shy as Japanese people, but when we did this at Venice Beach in Los Angeles, it was a lot easier to find people. And well, my Spanish is really bad, so this reminded me of the time when I moved to the States for the first time and had a difficult time communicating. It might take time, but I'll find someone. Luckily, soon after, one family showed interest, and this little boy decided to join me. But then, this security lady came by, and we got kicked out of the park. And Apparently, uh, we are not supposed to be doing that there, so we're gonna try to find different location and restart. He introduced me to a different park. Where, where is Ahora it? estamos en el Parque México. Parque México. Parque México. At this second location, we happened to find these young people who had some sort of weapon with them. They didn't really speak English, so not sure how much they understood my bad Spanish. However, somehow I was able to convince them to join me on this samurai experience. How do you like that? Because <laughs> So in a little while, more and more people started showing up with their own sword. We got a sword teacher, uh, he teaches here every Sunday. So now we got their teacher or the leader of this sword fighting practice group. He wants to improvise, so we are changing the choreography. He even had self-made kabuto hat that he made out of a baseball cap. Let's see what he got. He 
he did amazing. So everyone in this group was great, and after that, one of the girls joined as well. I started feeling a little more comfortable explaining movements in Spanish. Next, we got an Abuelo Samurai. He was with his grandkids, and I thought they were the ones participating, but then it was the grandpa who wanted to do this. It's always encouraging to see older folks having interest in something new. <laughs> This little Nina was so cute, very polite and smiley all the time. I was gonna be a serious, strict teacher, but that didn't work. I think we found enough people now. I didn't expect we we're gonna be able to get it done so quickly, but a lot of people are interested in Japanese sword, so it was a good day. So we just finished. I don't think I could have done without you, so thank you so much no, for your you. help. Subscríbanse y denle like a su canal. All right, uh, hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I want to give a shout out to this Japanese curry restaurant in Mexico City, Hayatea, and also to the owner of the restaurant, Koji-san. As I mentioned, I didn't bring any hakama or kimono to Mexico. Then I met him and it turned out he practices kenjutsu in Mexico City. And he kindly let me use his clothes. Koji-san is actually also an actor who used to be a Green Ranger in one of the Power Ranger series in Japan. It's called Gingaman. The reason I got to know this place was because of the coffee shop owner that I became friends with in Oaxaca. He just randomly showed me this TikTok video of introducing Koji-san in the restaurant. Even though I wasn't planning on shooting this in Mexico, honestly, I feel like this episode was meant to happen. I mean, what are the chances of encountering a group of people practicing samurai sword in a random park in Mexico, right? I'm very grateful for these interesting encounters during my trip. Oh, and Koji-san's curry was really good, so if anybody's in Mexico City, make sure to check out Hayatea. Alright, once again, thank you guys for watching. Matane!